Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. One of the devices that I enjoy using a lot is uh, a bird watt meter. It's a bird 43. It's uh, been the standard of the industry probably, probably close to 70 years. Uh, that's probably about right. It's a heavy thing. It's, this thing weighs maybe 8 to 10 pounds. And uh, it's a, a directional watt meter. And it has slugs that uh, go into the front. There's a clip I have to move out of the way. And these slugs can be pulled out of this line. Uh, it's built into the bird watt meter. I'll show you that in just a second. And there's an arrow on these slugs. Now, the slugs have different frequencies. Um, give an example of, of some that I have. Um, this particular slug is 2 to 30 megahertz and 250 watts. Uh, I have other slugs that uh, have other values like um, 2,500 watts. There's one that's 5,000 watts. Um, there's another one that's 1,000 watts. This is another bird that I have. I've got two of them. Um, this one's a little bit different from the uh, the other um, bird, and here's why. Bird watt meters, as they come, are not peak reading. We'll talk about that in a second. So I added a board to the inside that converts it to a peak reading board. So uh, this connects uh, just before the meter, and there's a 9-volt battery here that uh, allows the thing to read peak, and it's actually pretty good. What am I talking about peak reading? Um, the bird watt meter, being it really is a standard, so that's the one that everything is compared to. If you uh, produce a carrier, and let's say the carrier is 1 kilowatt from your linear amplifier, the bird uh, watt meter will indicate uh, 1kW, and it will do that accurately. Um, there is a margin of error, but I've always found the bird to be right on when I've checked it with another device. So that's fine. It's reading 1,000 watts. Now, if you go into the single sideband mode, uh, the bird watt meter will not show the peak output. In fact, it might only show, uh, if you're running a kilowatt, it might only show 100 watts or 150 watts or 200 watts, likely not any greater than that. So it needed to be converted to one that would read the peak and display the peak at one kilowatt. So without the peak reading device, it would show 100, 200 watts at the very most. With the peak reading device, it's at a kilowatt and accurately reading that, uh, that amount. Um, in the side of the bird, there are openings for, so you can put uh, spare slugs here. So if you're a service person and you're carrying it in to check something, you can um, load it up with the slugs that you think you're going to need to do whatever, whatever device uh, that you're gonna check. For example, uh, when I was a kid, uh, the FCC, if they showed up at your property, they would be carrying one of those to attach to your equipment to check the output to make sure it wasn't over the limit at that time. Another thing that you can get for the bird is this um, uh, leather case. It's uh, lined, and um, this, these happen to be, I've, I've got two of these. These have to be really nice, and and uh, I, uh, uh, I try to take care of them. the uh, The lid then has a space for more slugs. Um, another thing that you can carry around is uh, this. This is also for the bird, uh, and this is the one that I use most of the time um, and uh, in it I have 
extra slugs, uh, a blank. I've got an extra strap for the top. Um, and also um, end connectors. So if I want to swap from the SO239 UHF female, I can put an end connector into the sides of the bird watt meter. Um, to give you an idea of the slugs, the slugs that I I happen to have are uh, 50 watts at 100 to 250 megahertz, so that would be good for like two meters. Um, another one, uh, 50 watts at 400 to one gig. That one's uh, right on, so like if I want to read something at uh, 440, I've got that. Um, uh, there's another one here that's 100, it's 50 watts. Um, and it's also 200 to 500 megahertz. So that's redundant. Um, a uh, low power uh, slug, it's uh, 50 watts at HF, uh, 2,500 watts at HF, 250 watts at HF, one kilowatt at HF, and uh, the other slugs that we already talked about. Um, acquired them over time. Um, the leather cases, um, will be around uh, uh, with the uh, appropriate bird watt meter um, if something happens to me. So they're, uh, they're a beautiful combination. Neat device, very accurate, can be peak reading. Um, you can put it in line. The other thing I didn't mention was the uh, uh, this arrow. This is a 2,500 watt slug and a 2,500 watts is good because one kilowatt is pretty much straight up. So if you're going to measure a kilowatt, I find it a little bit easier. But uh, transmitter and amplifier and antenna. So let's say this is in line to the antenna. So with this arrow, you would uh, uh, have the uh, antenna on this side. Now, if you wanted to look at the re re reverse reflected power or swap things around, you just rotate the slug so that the arrow is pointing the other direction uh, and you're there. The slug makes contact with the device through a little finger that hangs down and touches the side of the slug to pick up uh, some of the voltage. Bird 43, treasured by a lot of guys. Um, I've seen Two ways that the uh, the guys have them. One is they're pristine and uh, look like they've never been used, and that's that's what I have. Others are just beat up. Uh, again, they weigh about eight pounds or so uh, because he's had it on the job and he's carried it to different places and it's gotten banged around. You can't dent the uh, the case. The, the the device is some kind of cast, uh, but you can chip the paint and uh, or mark it up a bit really interesting watt meter uh in the way that it works and again it's highly accurate and you've got various slugs that you can put in for a whole bunch of frequencies uh that you can find on their website all right that's my story for the bird 43 thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to please do that uh if you have a comment about the bird 43 let me know there's a lot of probably i don't know so I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about that particular watt meter. I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California, saying 73. See you the next time. Thanks for watching.